there is a new consciousness emerging. It is a spiritual consciousness. It is a spiritual consciousness, which means that those of us who are going to partake in the promise must become that which we are. We must spiritualize our experience. We must spiritualize our interaction. We must spiritualize our commitment. We must spiritualize our devotion. And it does not just show up in what you talk about. It shows up in what you be about. We're talking about crossing. I want, you, I want you to know, I want you to know, hear me, hear me well. Hear me well. You've moved past a certain point, right? You've moved past a certain point. Don't ever stay in something for which you've passed. If it's a relationship and the time has passed for it, let it go. If it's a job and the time has passed for it, let it go. If it's a building, or a building, building. If it's, a, if it's a building and the time has passed for it, let it go. I don't know whose message that is. I don't know whose message that is. Get, get that, get that prophetic word. If you have passed it, let it go, right? The holding on to it only keeps you attached to a time that's passed. And you don't want to stay in a time that's passed when your promise is laying in wait for you. So you, if you meditate on the law, if you meditate day and night on the instructions of God, they will ensure your success. Finally, we have to be willing to trust the Lord, our God. God is good all the time. Not only is God good, God is an excellent multitasker. I was talking to someone earlier this week and we were talking about how, how she was going through an experience and in the experience, something, some, something began to happen to someone that she was with. And she didn't really know what to do, but in her ability to get silent and to listen to what God was saying, God instructed her on what she should do. Her ability to hear and not just hear, but move on what God said, brought somebody else back to life. Later in the conversation, it turned to nature, and we were talking about how right now all of the grass is, is brown. Everywhere you look, Brown grass, brown grass, brown grass. But then we talked about how in a few days, the brown grass will be green grass, green grass, green grass. And none of us in here know how to convert brown grass into green grass. So at some point, at some point, you have to exceed your limitations and trust that which can turn brown grass into green grass without even breaking a sweat. God is able. God has healed you. But not only did God heal you, God healed the person next to you. Sometimes some of us were being healed at the same time. See, so God did not just heal him and take a break from healing you. God was healing us at the same time. See, God is able, but you have to trust God. If you don't trust God, then your untrust stands in the way of your demonstration. But still, God is able. To, to borrow a word from Thurman Evans, God is not just able, but God is applicable. God is applicable. 
That means God, the power of God, can be applied and proved in your everyday life. God is applicable. But God is not just applicable.